Bismillahirrahmanirrahim with the name of Allah who is very kind and merciful welcome to the DevOps King channel you are watching the solution for TFS migration to Azure DevOps services part 2 the blog is prepared by Microsoft certified person DevOps King TFS migration to Azure DevOps services Azure DevOps Administrator and Solution Provider Microsoft Certified DevOps Engineer Expert In order to search this channel on the YouTube please use this word DevOps King you will find the channel DevOps King Please subscribe the button so that you can get the latest blog on the channel In part 2 we shall discuss the remaining steps for the migration to the Azure DevOps services. In the next step of step 5, we shall create the DAC pack file. In order to create the DAC pack file, first of all, we shall go to the path where our SQL package.exe exists. After finding the SQL package.exe, we shall apply the command this one. First, we shall go to the path where sql package.exe exists after that we shall apply this command sql dot sql package.exe the source code connection tfs sql server initial catalog database name is tfs underscore default collection and remaining parameter integrated security and this deck pack file will be created at the path f test tfs default collection dot deck pack file and the remaining parameter required for the deck pack files are shown on the screen. Above command will create the deck pack file at the path f test tfs default collection dot dpk as we have given at this position. At this position. After creating the deck pack file, now we shall create the storage storage account first of all we shall log in to the portal Azure portal and after that we shall search for the storage account and after that we shall create the storage account we shall make sure that our storage account exists in the area in which our account is created our, our organization exists like in this case our organization as I have discussed in part 1 our organization is in South India you can see by arrow South India storage browser so, South India now open the storage account TFS first of all we shall create the storage account with name TFS migration AG and after that you will open the TFS migration AG the name of the storage account make sure that you click the container in, in the storage after that you will right click on the name of the TFS storage that is TFS migration AG in my case and select the second option generate the shared access signature in this case when we shall click the second option it will create the interface like you can see on this screen please make sure that in the permission tab you check the box for read and read it is mandatory otherwise you will get the error in the migration in the above step when you will click on the generate SAS this interface will be generated in this interface in the read section you will check the for read and list two check box for read and list again this is very important please keep the start and expiry date at least for the six month at least for the six month after providing this parameter click on the generate SAS token and URL you will get the URL token like this 
TFS migration AG is my storage name after that it will create the URL that we shall use in the import.json file that we have created in step 3 after creating the this URL we shall we shall update json file import.json file that we have created in step 3 of part 1 of this blog this is very important that we shall provide the first of all in the in the source location we shall give the url for the ss url that we have created in the previous step after that in the deckpack file we shall give the name of the deckpack file that we have created in the first step of part 2 in the target name we shall write only devops king with this name devops king our devops uh, our uh, azure server services will be created after that import type is dry run you have two type of uh, imports one is dry run if you are if you want to test your migration and other one is final migration is production run so in this case as we are uh, testing by the quality assurance department so we shall write dry run in this case in the next step now as we have created the storage we shall make sure that you are opening the storage count in uh, Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer because otherwise you will get the error you can also install it Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer as well now in this case when you open the Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer you will find your storage count here like storage count is like you can see that storage count is AG migration like in this case our storage name is this one TFS migration AG this storage count will be opened in the Azure browser to upload the files so in this case after applying these parameters we shall open the storage storage and upload the two files that we have created in the previous step one is identity map log.csv and other is jackpack file so from this from this tab upload tab we shall up, upload two files map log.csv and jackpack file you can see both these one this is the csv file and the second one is the jackpack file in the browser by using the browser we shall upload these two, two files in our storage account after uploading the two files we shall again apply the import command from the data migration tool as in the start of my part 1 from the data migration tool we shall apply the command migration migrator.exe import the path of the json file this is the part of the json file that we have updated in the previous step it will start importing after applying this migration import command it will start the import of your deckpack file to the azure devops services you will watch the screen like this this importing will start and it will take a long time depending the size of your deckpack file so take a cup of coffee and enjoy the migration will take a long depending on the size of the deckpack file after some time we shall get the azure devops services finally you will have a migration for Azure DevOps Services, TFS migration to Azure DevOps Services. Thank you very much for watching the solution for the migration of TFS to the Azure Services. If you need any help, you can contact directly on my cell number like this one. You can 
contact on this cell number if you need any help about the demos. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching the solution for TFS migration to DevOps services.